Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. Welcome back. I am coming back to you today with a B&M haul. And I did pop in store and was wowed with the fact that it's full-blown Christmas in there now. I mean, autumn is kind of like come and gone <laughs> in B&M. So apologies if it's a little too early for some of you. Maybe come back later today if you want to watch this more in the Christmas period. But... It's what the shops are bringing us. I have some like cleaning bits, I have some decor bits, home decor bits, I have some like giftware, gifting. Um, I am gonna be doing a B&M gift guide as well, so there were quite a few things I picked up for that. That will be coming within my gift guide series week, which is the first week of November. But for now, let's sit back, relax, grab a cuppa. I'm just having a coffee first of the day and it's just the best. There's nothing as good as that first morning coffee. Let's jump into it, shall we? Some new dishwasher tablets. This is the new Mrs. Hinch Cozy Season range. I like it, I don't love it. Ugh, said it, there we go. Because for me, I would ordinarily be drawn to the kind of cozy, warmer scents. But this, I don't know, it's the air freshener that I don't like. Um, otherwise, the rest of the products I've been using and enjoying. But for some reason, the Febreze air freshener, I. And it's just not my favorite. It's okay, it's okay. Anyway, I also picked up from the autumn section these little cake toppers. Uh, they have loads of ba baking bits and bobs that are really nice, which I have shown already in vlogs, like at the start of the season when they came out. But I didn't spot these, so I grabbed these. These little pumpkin ones especially, I just love. We've got some treats for Barney. I got these, um, Blitzen's Beef Wellington festive treats. If I also, I've never seen these ones before with a British Bake Off now on the TV. They've done a Great British Bakes Collection apple pie flavored treats. So I'm sure he will love them. You also needed another lighter. This was in the treats section. I did get quite a few treats you'll see within this video, like kind of seasonal treats, fun treats I've never seen before. And this is one of them. So at only a pound, you get this pack of pumpkin, marshmallows, and gummies. So you get a few marshmallows in there, which are always great toppers for hot chocolates, but I thought the gummies as well. Nice little sweet treat, maybe even on top of a cupcake. I also got some new 1001 carpet freshener for upstairs, and guys, the scent of this, apple and cinnamon. I love popcorn. And for me, this nostalgia of a Werther's original, it used to be something that I think, I remember my grandparents, my dad's parents having in their car, Werther's originals. And so like, that always just makes me think of, of them. I also got some of the Chris, the Walkers, new flavors that they've got. This is the only one I've not tried before. Roast chicken with mayonnaise flavored crisps. Sound yum. Oh God, I'm, not, I'm gonna have to hide this from Tom. He's gonna be ashamed that I bought this got some Visto gravy. <laughs> this to me, just like a gravy on a sausage and mashed dinner, like proper girl dinner, and it's in southern style gravy granules. Tom's really into his food. If you're new to my channel and don't know who Tom is, my partner, he is a proper foodie. You know what, if I served it to him, I bet he'd be like, oh, that's good. But it's just the thought of having gravy granules. He's like, no, you've got to properly make gravy. So anyway, we'll hide that one from him. I also got a load of sweets for Halloween. I'm going to do these little kind of like party bags that I got from HomeSense and just fill them with loads of different treats so that kids, like our neighbours' kids and things, can take a full goodie bag. And then I'll also just have a bowl of treats in case we have too many trick-or-treaters. So I just got a load of sweets. These, I mean, it's only Mars and Snickers, which I feel like, are they... The ones that people don't want, the excess stock, I don't know. I mean, Snickers I wouldn't have. I do like a Mars, but anyway, just to fill up. I mean, this bag is pretty weighty. And then I also got some lollies, these chubba chubs in cola, strawberry, apple, and strawberry cream. I also got these to fill up the bag and Halloween trickle treat bowl. Just these fun size party mix, different chocolates. So like being a place to go for those kind of things. And then lastly, for the Halloween stuff. 
another one. Again, just 25 mixed minis. And then I got these ones for me because I thought they sounded really nice. I love a twirl anyway, but they are flavors that I've never tried before. But honeycomb sundae flavored. Sounds like it might be a bit like a crunchy. Caramel, I love caramel chocolate, so caramel inside. And then this one, love coffee flavored things, so iced latte flavored. In fact, that would have been nice in my coffee. It's probably a bit too early this morning to have a full twirl at this time. We can have that later on this afternoon. Right, this whole bag is full to the brim of, again, more yummy sounding unique treats. So firstly, I've got three boxes of these to fill up our Christmas chocolates bowl. That's why I got three of these, to fill a bowl and pop them in there. But these are Cadbury's favorites. So these are Australian. So they've got ones that we don't have these miniature versions of. So they've got Crunchy, one of my faves, Dairy Caramello, Picnic Moro, which I think Moro looks like it might be a, like a Mars maybe, it could be wrong. Boost, I love a Boost. This was like my favorite chocolate bar in school. We had a tuck shop in our school and I used to always get a boost. Um, and then Dairy Milk, Milk Chocolate, also Turkish Delight, my mum loves Tur Turkish Delight. Twirl and also the Caramel Chocolate again. So I've got these, which I thought would be nice to pop out for um, kind of like hosting, little crisp bowls, turkey and stuffing flavoured and pigs in blanket flavoured. Mum's favourite chocolate is Terry's Chocolate Orange, but I saw that they do a milk chocolate version. So I'm thinking I might try this one. I do like chocolate orange, but I'm not as obsessed as he is. So I thought I would give the milk chocolate version a go. I know they've got a dark one, but I don't think I've ever seen the milk one before. I also got a tub of heroes and this one is the Who Am I Games Edition. So I've got these just again, a little festive snack. I'll probably eat these though. <laughs> like wait before Christmas and um, this will be like my dessert one night here's one up pieces and rice krispies with a truffle center in Terry's chocolate orange this is their snowy crunch with the little kind of snowy pieces in gingerbread flavored oreos never seen those before speaking of gingerbread gingerbread flavored popcorn and lastly for the treats some milky bar festive friends so I think these are individually wrapped as well so they could even go in uh yeah they are they, they look like that. So they could go with, in the Christmas bowl with the uh, Cadbury's favorite. Okay, let's move on to some other bits and bobs. We have this gorgeous gingerbread house, which is like a little light up decoration again for Christmas. And I'll say it again, I have mentioned before though, this year's Christmas theme, I'm thinking kind of vintage retro elements like done in a subtle classy way not like full 90s tat which i have to admit there's something about that I, that i would love to do as well like tinsel paper chains the lot but yeah i'm thinking more along the lines of traditional vintage christmas at least in the kind of kitchen area where i have my fun novelty tree i'm not sure what i'm going to do in the front room yet i might add elements of burgundy and reds but we'll see. Um, anyway, this cute little house I thought would make perfect little seasonal decor. In fact, I might do that as like a white Christmas theme in the front room. So it's still very much white company style. That could go quite nicely in there with the more neutral decor. Let's have a look. Oh, cute. This guy was six pounds. Okay, I also got in the Christmas gift wrap section, I stopped up on these three, well they do three for five pounds and they've got loads of different styles, but this boucle kind of one, I've never seen this kind of fabric in a ribbon before, so I thought these will probably only do, how long are they? Two meters, one or two presents. Like maybe if I've got a couple of big presents that I wanna pop these on, so I got all three in all three colors. I also thought for anyone that were getting a bottle of something, they do really nice bottle bags, like little stocking bottle bags that I got last year. But I also saw this year that they've got these little bottle covers, like a little Santa with a little hat that you pop on the top. They were two pounds. I'm working with Tails again, who is the food company that we get Barney's food from. And I'll be shooting some content more towards like a festive theme, Christmas themed. And I thought, could we have a fun novelty 90s style picture with these <laughs> maybe 250 i got them to try i mean they're just these little 
pet reindeer antlers only one size and the photo is showing a little Frenchy so I'm not sure if these are gonna fit Barney I think they will he's only got a small head well, at least I think he's got a small head anyway but yeah how fun are they they'll last all of two seconds but if it works for a photo then it's worth it oh again sticking with the gingerbread theme i actually picked up accidentally two of these because i like to just get odd one you know like odd like baubles rather than getting sets of baubles so i didn't mean to pick up two but i obviously saw it put it in my trolley as i was walking around saw it again put it in my trolley didn't even realize that i picked up two but anyway £2.50. These will actually go on both trees. I think if we have like a white Christmas, white company style tree, it would work. And also the novelty tree, it would definitely work. So I've got two little gingerbread. They are light up as well. Yeah. Oh, cute. Oh, that's a bit stiff, that one. And then another gingerbread. I think I prefer this one. But another little gingerbread kind of style house is this one at 2 50 and it's from the Nordic Noel range, but it's got um, glittery bits on. Doesn't that look like a gingerbread biscuit? <laughs> Looks delicious with icing. But yeah, it's got little glittery bits, if you can see on there. So it's super pretty. I'm thinking with all the Christmas lights on the tree, that will reflect beautifully. And then what else did I get? Oh, I got this one to pop on the tree. Little Merry. Again, very white company style, that one. So that will go on the um the tree in the front room £2.50 for that one and then this they had uh, quite a few like bells in and I love a bell I already have some but at £2 I couldn't resist this one this one's I think smaller than anything I have so that one could actually maybe even go on the tree but these are great at the end of like staircases attached to garlands at the end of garlands they obviously chime as well and even like as little present toppers or something, like on a, on a stocking or if you're getting a big sack for someone to have that with the label attached to it, could be really cute. So yeah, two pound for that. And then lastly in this bag, we've got this oil burner, which I thought was really festive and cute at three pounds. You just have the space at the back for the tea light. And on top here, you've got the oil. So you could have it as like a little wax melt burner oil burner at three pounds now speaking of retro vintage nostalgia christmas guys i bought this to go around the bottom of the tree in the kind of kitchen tree i bought a train and train track <laughs> now it is only b and m bargain 15 pounds i think it was yeah 15 pounds so I don't know if it's going to be any good. I don't know if I might trial it this year with this one and then in future want to spend up and maybe get a nice one from the garden centre. But I thought at £15, it's a good test run as to whether or not I'm going to like it. So it's just, again, got the little kind of... Hold on, I'm going to stand up here so that I can show you. These little vintage designs on the carts that I think will go with the theme. It's very subtle kind of green and red got a train track am i four years old or am i 32 <laughs> with no kids but i kind of like it i also like we like i said we're hosting this year so i saw these crackers and thought i would grab them i kind of want to do a bit of a diy fill my own crackers which i might still do we are hosting we'll be hosting christmas eve and christmas day and we'll probably still have family stay boxing day as well so there are opportunities to use these. Um, I mean, even New Year's Eve, you could get crackers out, couldn't you? Eight pounds for this set. I just thought this design that they brought out this year is so beautiful that I just couldn't resist. They've got that in the wrapping paper as well. Yeah, for gift bags, I did pick up some in that theme. So they had quite a few that I really liked. Um, let me pop those down. So this design, firstly, bent the tag a little bit which just says special christmas wishes on the tag and it says winter wishes on the bag and again it's got that kind of gold foil uh, design one pound 25 for that design so i got three of those these are a good size for um for like gifting gifts for family members that uh are all coming over christmas day if i get quite a few little things for people kind of as a bit of a stocking i suppose it's a good size i think 
for that. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Fa la 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 la. Ho ho ho. £1.25 again. Same size. So I picked up three. And then if you don't know, I'm a dog lover. I have a golden retriever called Barney and I spoil him. He's my fair baby. So he will be getting presents this year. I will be including some pet gift ideas for pets and pet owners. And this bag, there's no way I was leaving this bag. £1.25 again, same size. Look at my screensaver. It kind of looks like Barney as a puppy. Oh, how cute. How simple is that? That could be Barney. Although, I don't know why, but that gives me girl vibes. That looks like a girl puppy to me. Can you really tell? Probably not, but. I also got some more gifting bits. So that same design or very similar design at 90p in a bottle bag. And again, it's got the gold foil, townhouse, liberty style Christmas, white company, you know, kind of like luxe Christmas. And then this set as well, I got two of these because I thought these would be good sizes to have as well of bags. So you've got three different designs. You've got the holly jolly one that I showed in the larger size. You've also got the, um, townhouse style one that again I showed in the larger size and then this middle one is just a black one with little trees on. I also got this little pack of stickers. Easy way to tell whose presence is who is just using these kind of stickers but these ones obviously have the to and from on as well so really handy again to a label up and how pretty. Loads of different designs again with that kind of townhouse theme even if you don't use all of them just to have the select ones that you want. You get 100 stickers in here, so plenty for £1.50. Then I got a couple of candles. And again, they had some like kind of white company dupe style candles. I've seen people on um, TikTok showing them as white company dupes. Although loosely white company dupes. It's not like they're an exact match, but similar scents based off of those. Similar to Jo Malone scents as well. And um, yeah, I thought I would include these not as a gifting option within my B&M gift guide, just purely because I thought these would be good to get for yourself rather than even as a gift. But obviously as a gift, they make a lovely gift as well. Five pounds for this one. And again, it's got that townhouse feel to it with the wooden lid with the little Christmas trees on. And they are like embossed. So it looks lovely. And then if I can open it, it's scented white Christmas, it just says. It's not the strongest smelling. I feel like it's more for the aesthetic. I wouldn't even be able to tell you what that smells like, honestly. Quite sweet, maybe, like vanilla-y. But I also got this candle, which I loved the design of. It's from the Christmas at Home range at four pounds. It says on there, I am a candle, so you can tell. But obviously, not as a candle, it makes a lovely um, decor piece. I feel like Christmas interlude is now over. We are back to autumn mode, activated. And I think next video, hopefully, fingers crossed, weather dependent, we might make it to the pumpkin patch. Oh, I'm so excited for it. It's like one of my favorite things to do. I think we're gonna do that. We might go to like Holly's Farm Shop, um, Reclamation Yard, like a nice um, trip out. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that will be my next video. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this haul nonetheless. Do give me a thumbs up if you have. Subscribe for more. And I will hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.